Hi, I'm Kathy Monroe, and I grow microgreens in Pictou County, Nova Scotia. Microgreens. Now that's an interesting word. Micro immediately makes us think of something small and greens. Well, we eat those in a variety of different ways. Microgreens are something you've likely tried at one point or another, maybe on a sandwich in your school lunch, tossed in a salad, or in a breakfast wrap. Well, microgreen, it's not a sprout, even though everybody calls it a sprout. <laughs> it, a sprout is actually only five days old. It's just a sprout from the seed. And then the microgreen is your next stage of growth. So it's actually the first and second sets of leaves sometimes. So it's somewhere between 14 and 20 days old. When you plant a seed and eventually see those first few delicate leaves, those are microgreens. They're actually young vegetables that are harvested before they mature into full plants. Like the tiny greens she sells, Kathy's business started out micro or small. She initially used trays to grow microgreens inside her home to feed her family and neighbors and to supply the local farmer's market. Her microgreens sold well. Kathy quickly realized there was a big demand for the small-sized crops. Consumers today want a steady supply of fresh, local produce. Kathy's microgreen business steadily grew. We now have, it's an 80-foot greenhouse, 80-foot by 25 feet, but we also grow vertically, so you can really maximize what you can get out of that. Another bonus by growing microgreens indoors, Kathy can help to control the climate. That's especially important in Nova Scotia due to our harsh winters and because climate change is affecting growing seasons, harvests, and weather patterns. Farmers need as much stability as possible. Kathy's expansion to a greenhouse means she now grows on a macro, or much larger scale. She and her staff produce microgreens year-round at Bramble Hill Farm. They plant and harvest every week of the year, or 52 times. The quick turnaround time means Kathy continuously evaluates the differences between seeds and which ones grow best. As a lifelong learner, Kathy has 52 chances per year to improve on the previous crop. Bramble Hill Farm produces microgreen salad mixes. So we mix pea shoots with different types of spicy or larger leaf microgreens to produce a salad mix. Pea shoots taste like eating peas. So if you like snap peas or like picking out the big fat peas out of your mom's garden, pea shoots are awesome. Kathy sells small, take-home tubs of her microgreen salad wholesale to approximately 20 small Nova Scotian grocers who focus on showcasing local products. Consumers can buy a tub and have a tasty, fresh salad mix available in the refrigerator at home. Right now, we're weekly, we're harvesting between 600 650 to 800 tubs of microgreen salad. Microgreens may be in demand now, but their popularity started out slowly. They first gained attention south of the border in the 1990s. New York City chefs wanted little green garnishes to accompany their signature dishes. It took about 20 years for people to realize that microgreens are very nutritious. Then their popularity skyrocketed. Well, microgreens are something you can add to your meals three times a day. And you really should because microgreens are up to 40 times more nutritious than eating the mature plant. Microgreens naturally pack a nutritious punch. Bramble Hill Farm focuses on the natural, including the lighting in its greenhouse. The greens are grown using available daylight in a soil medium. Kathy wanted the most natural, indoor setting possible. While she can manipulate conditions inside, Kathy can't control how much sunlight is available each week. That's up to Mother Nature. Less light can impact how fast the microgreens grow. That means Kathy may have to alter planting days or have slight variations in scheduling. Through trial and error, she and her team have discovered that microgreens last longer, on store shelves and at home, if they're grown using natural lighting. This approach also ensures Bramble Hill Farm reduces its carbon footprint. The volume that can come out of such a small space makes it uh, an environmentally friendly 
method of growing. You know, we don't have to heat a large building. And for a greenhouse situation, you know, even when it's minus 15 outside, if it's sunny in January, we have the sides of the greenhouse open because it's too hot in here. So through the daylight hours, at least. Growing microgreens is labor intensive. Farmers like Kathy must be available every day to water the plants, among other chores. Microgreens are harvested by hand, using very sharp kitchen knives. Kathy had previously purchased mechanical equipment for harvest, but quickly discovered that by using the machinery, much of her crop became unsellable. The harvest machine couldn't cut the plants properly, which meant a lot of the microgreens were wasted. Kathy went back to the drawing board. Today, Bramble Hill Farm staff harvest the old school way, by hand. They sharpen their knives multiple times a day. Learning how to harvest quickly and efficiently takes skill, time, and practice. Growing microgreens is like most everything else in life. It requires ongoing learning, attention to detail, patience, diligence, and teamwork. I feel like it's not unlike every other aspect of farming. You can't just plant the seed and walk away from it. Nurturing nature is key. Kathy is proud of the Nova Scotia grown products she sells. She and her staff work hard to ensure Bramble Hill Farm microgreens meet the highest standards. The team's collective efforts ensure we get to enjoy delicious greens year round. Nova Scotians have access to a consistent, fresh supply of produce. Consumers benefit from the dense nutrition within the plants themselves. Natural lighting in the greenhouse helps the plants and the environment. And the natural indoor setting ensures better shelf life, so there's less food waste. Microgreens are cool. They grow super fast. You can be excited about the fact that like almost from the morning to the nighttime, you can see that they change. Like it's so satisfying to grow something so quickly. And when you're done, you can put it in your sandwich. <laughs>